To use the most generic YouTube title ever, which I definitely use way too much, Starfield does look absolutely insane. But what if it fails? What if all the hype leads to massive disappointment? What if this is the next cyberpunk, god forbid? What if Xbox's first major exclusive with Bethesda Game Studios fails? Oh look, if you know me and my channel, you know that I think none of that will happen. However, we never know the future. I myself am very confident in Starfield's release. I think it quite honestly looks like Bethesda's best game yet. The combat is clearly improved from the already very good combat of Fallout 4, the animations have improved, the graphics and even smaller things like our HUD and inventory look so much better than any of Bethesda's previous games, at least in my opinion. However, with a game like Starfield that almost looks too good to be true, we always have to ask the simple question of, well what if it sucks? And there's a lot riding on Starfield, whether people want to admit that or not. It's not just the fact that Xbox have had a pretty rough year with exclusives to say the least, or that the Bethesda company as a whole haven't done great in recent years, with Fallout 76 slowly losing more and more players every month, and rumours of the game being just bluntly killed off by this time next year, and also the extremely mid to bad reviews for Redfall that came out earlier this year, we just really haven't seen much good come from Bethesda or Zenimax in recent years, besides a few good ESO updates. Honestly, the last game from Bethesda that I massively enjoyed was Doom Eternal. The last game I enjoyed from Bethesda Game Studios was Fallout 4. So yeah, it has been almost a decade since I last personally got a really great game from Bethesda Game Studios, who are my favourite video game company. Point being is that a lot of people feel this way, and some people are looking at Starfield like it's the be-all and end-all. Either this game will suck and destroy Bethesda Game Studios forever, or it will be a masterpiece and bring Bethesda back to their roots of making amazing games like Morrowind, Oblivion, Fallout 3, Skyrim, etc. Now, I personally really just don't agree with that take because, let's be honest here, no matter how awesome or trash Starfield is, 99% of the people watching this video, you, yes you, will still buy and probably pre-order Elder Scrolls 6. However, Bethesda always have had a really good reputation besides their bugs up until Fallout 76 came out. And just because of that one game, the way people looked at the company changed drastically. So while 99% of us will still be excited for Elder Scrolls 6 and Fallout 5 if Starfield sucks, for a few people Starfield really is the final straw with Bethesda. I really can't imagine Starfield being bad, but if it is, we might see the biggest backlash for a video game that we've ever seen, at least since Cyberpunk. What's more is that it's extremely important for Xbox and Microsoft that Starfield does well, because people have literally bought consoles just for Bethesda games. I know a few people personally, like a good number of people, who are mostly PlayStation players who got a Series S or X just for Bethesda, and if Starfield sucks, I think most of these people would just sell their Xbox to the highest bidder. Not to mention if Starfield is amazing, it could generate console sales for Xbox for years into the future, just like Skyrim did. And also there's the toxicity of it. Of course, if Starfield is bad, we're going to see a bunch of people blame Microsoft and claim Starfield would have been great if they never bought Bethesda or Bethesda would be better off if Sony purchased them and all of that nonsense. But the main point here is that Starfield sucking would be a major catastrophe for both Bethesda and Xbox and Microsoft as a whole. I'm not going to get into the pathetic console war debate. We do none of that bullshit here. We just love video games. So we talk about video games. Doesn't matter what company made the game. But the point still stands, right? I honestly do think that Starfield is Bethesda's most important game yet, as it is going to shape the company for years into the future. I made an entire video talking about that. We heard recently that Elder Scrolls 6 might be at least five years away, and that's half a decade, which is a damn long time, and we don't even know if we're getting Fallout 5 after that, which sucks because I wanted Fallout 5 yesterday. So with Starfield potentially being the only game that Bethesda Game Studios puts out within the next half a decade, it pretty much has to be good, right? Imagine if Starfield doesn't do well when it's poorly received. That means Bethesda Game Studios wouldn't have made a big hit since Fallout 4, which is almost a decade old at this point. But look, with all of that said, I don't see Starfield being bad. I quite honestly think that almost everything we've seen looks amazing, but every game is going to have its bad sides, right? As long as this isn't another Fallout 76 situation, I think that we're in pretty good hands. I mentioned in a video the other day that everyone at Bethesda seems very confident in Starfield, and yes, I know that isn't really news. Bethesda team thinks their game 
is good, quick, call the news outlets. But my point is that we're seeing a bunch of Bethesda developers talk about Starfield on Twitter and such, being really excited for us all to play it and for the game to go live. And we didn't get any of that with games like Fallout 76, so I think it's a good sign. Like, when Fallout 76 was being made, I quite honestly don't remember a single dev tweeting about how much they're loving playing the game. Anyway, super short video today, mostly because I just dislike talking about negative stuff, but a few people mentioned that they wanted me to talk about this. So let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. I'm sure you're all as excited for Starfield as I am, and I'm planning to go deep into my thoughts on Starfield soon, since Juicehead's newest video made me realise that I haven't given my genuine thoughts in a while. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave it a like, as it really helps out and if you're looking for a place to stay up to date on Starfield, Elder Scrolls and Fallout, news leaks, discussions and plenty more, this is absolutely the place for you so consider subscribing, we'd love to have you join us. And lastly as always a huge thank you to our channel members for your monthly support, you guys are absolutely gorgeous people. But with all of that said and done, I thank you all so much for watching and I really hope to see you next time. Peace.